Hello, welcome to Sunday. We're on the road because I made a mistake. Yeah, I got a text message yesterday from one of our customers that uh, they ordered six tomatoes and they only got one and it only says one on the invoice. And I took the order, I put the order in, somehow I didn't change the number from one to six, so yeah. I headed to the warehouse to pick up five cases of tomatoes and deliver it to Scottsdale. The absolute second worst situation. The first worst would be like Mesa. We have a customer that's in Mesa. If I had to deliver them, that that would suck. Scottsdale is like, you know, the second worst. But it is what it is. It's one of our biggest customers. And I, I and I asked them, I say, is there any way you can make it till Monday? Like normally they get it delivered on Tuesday, but I'm like, I'm willing to do like like, I'm willing to go anyway, but I'm like, you know, at least Monday I'm halfway there. I'm already at the warehouse, you know, just going from the warehouse to Scottsdale, not a big deal. And he's like, nah, man, I'm really sorry. I can't, I, I can't make it. I, I really need them. I said, I get it. It's weekend. It's your busy store. You ordered six. You needed six. I'll be there. So here we go. Head to the warehouse to get some tomatoes. It's the life of a small business owner. It's like when you make a mistake, you got to fix the mistake. It is what it is. Oh, all right. We're here. On. I don't know, it's a different vibe when you're by yourself here, after hours, before hours, whatever you want to call it. I mean, technically we're closed, but I don't know. It still sucks to have to do this, but it's almost at the same time. It's like, I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I'm saying. All right, let's see what we got for tomatoes. The tomatoes that we need are Romas right now because they're cheaper than the uh, rounds. So that's where we're shipping them. So I just got to find out which ones. I want to say it's these, but then we also have these. Different brands, different lots. This is what they normally get. Those look really nice but they're just more expensive. All right, we got our five cases of tomatoes. Put a load in my car and head to Scottsdale. You guys like my little scooter? I brought this down to the warehouse. My brothers love it to go back and forth between the dock and the office. <laughs> Right now the temperatures are still relatively cool. I can, I don't feel bad delivering in the back of my, my car, but give it another month or two and you pretty much, even, even something like this, I'd have to take one of the vans to keep it refrigerated for, you know, a half an hour drive. But right now it's still relatively cool, so time to go. All right, delivery complete. Five cases of Roma tomatoes. Man, what a pain in the ass. But. That's what happens when you make mistakes, right? You gotta live with them. You gotta live with the consequences, kids. Consequences for your actions or lack of actions. Now the, uh, what is it? 44 minute drive home. So uh, the Joe Rogan experience, Joe Rogan's podcast is now back on Apple Music. I think it's been like two years at least um, since he went to Spotify and was exclusive on Spotify. And, I have Spotify and I could listen to it on Spotify, but I just don't. It's the same It's the same logic as when like a streamer moves to another platform. It's like, yeah, I like that streamer. I'm just never on that platform. And to remember, to, to like have to remember to go to that platform to watch, you know, it, it, it'd be like the equivalent of like, well, I mean, YouTube, right? So you watch YouTube videos, you watch them on your computer or your phone, right? Or your tablet. If you're gonna watch TV or gonna watch a movie, you go sit on the couch, you watch it on your on your TV, right? Like traditionally speaking, obviously there's different scenarios, but I'm just saying traditionally speaking, it's like if you're gonna watch ABC or CBS or you know uh, 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 Fox, you sit down at, at your t on your couch and you watch you turn to that station, right? Channel 15, Channel 10, Channel 5. That's where you watch TV. And if you want to watch a YouTube video, you go to an internet connected device such as a computer or, or tablet. So it's, it's the same thing where it's like you go to a, a website, you go to Twitch to watch your, your streamers, you go to YouTube to watch your, your videos. And it's like when a streamer would move to a different platform, you're like, oh man, I'm never on, 
Like, I don't go to Facebook looking for streamers. I don't go to Facebook to watch streamers. Even though my, you know, some of my favorite streamers moved over there. It's just, it's just the way it is. So, so when Joe Rogan's podcast moved to Spotify, I, I pretty much just stopped listening to it uh, because it's like, well, I'm not going to go to another app just for one show. It's just, it's just not, my brain doesn't go that way, right? I go to the podcast app. I look at my, all the podcasts I subscribe to and I click on the oldest episode and, and listen to it and then it goes to the next one. So anyway, he's back on Apple Music, so I started listening to the podcast again. And man, I didn't realize how much I enjoyed listening to him interview his guests. And yeah, you know, it's two, three, you know, four years later, you know, post-pandemic, post-2020, things are a little different, right? And uh, so I, I kind of take everything out with a grain of salt when I listen to it. But overall, 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 um, I still think he's very objective. Obviously, he he has his opinions, like everyone does, and he's he doesn't he's not shy about sharing his opinions. But he he's, he, he's even open about saying how like he was very left for for a very long time, but he just doesn't like the direction that the left is going in. So he tends to agree with more, some some right wing ideology and and the way thing. But but at the end of the day. When I'm listening to this guy and they go, you know, and again, when they get too heavy in politics, I usually skip because I'm just like, I don't like, I don't like politics. I don't like listening to it. I don't, I just, I just don't. But every once in a while it gets, you know, it gets peppered in when it, something gets brought up and it's a, you know, it's a three hour conversation. It's hard not to bring up politics in this day and age. And, he, and even, uh, who was the last person we was just talking to? Kid Rock, I think, which was very interesting. I didn't, I didn't finish that episode, but it, uh, it was a very interesting inter- interview. You know, even Kid Rock made, made a comment like, we used to never talk about politics. He's like, now you can't get away from it. Like, it's like, it, it's inevitable that at some point in time, some, you know, uh, uh, degree of politics is going to get brought up in a conversation. It's just inevitable at this point. And he goes, I, and he goes, I'm guilty. He's like, I like talking about it. He's a huge Trump fan. Like the entire bot podcast, he's just like, oh, Trump, you know, but he's like, I'm guilty. He's like, I bring it up. You know, I talk about how I don't like this and I don't like that, but I like this. And I like that. And what we need more of this, more of that. Uh, but I, but I agree. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm like, yeah, we just never used to talk about politics, and I, I miss those days. I miss not having to worry about somebody bringing up, you know, some kind of political blah blah blah. I'm just like, ugh. So anyway, all I'm getting at is I'm listening to the Joe Rogan podcast now, and Tom Green's on it, and holy crap, Tom Green is is awesome. I forgot how again, I forgot how awesome Tom Green is. Uh, he's talking about he moved it back to Canada. And he has a farm, and he's got a mule and a donkey, and he's talking right now about his mule. And it's just very interesting. I don't know. I thought I'd share that with you. Sorry, long-winded, long-winded uh, to tell you that I'm listening to Joe Rogan talk to Tom Green, and it's awesome. Ooh, what you got here? They are going to be buffalo chicken meatballs. Buffalo chicken meatballs. 29 balls in your face. <laughs> celery on top of their buffalo cauliflower. I haven't tried their plain ranch yet, so it's first time, but I have like four or five other kinds in my house right now. Yeah, really well, uh, I had a really good time at my brother's house. Uh, even though we work with each other, being outside of work and the stress of work, um, it's just like yeah, man, it just feels so good. Like the, those moments, like today, just laughing so hard at jokes and just stories and whatnot. Like again, it just reminds me that my brother is my favorite people in the world. Um, food was good. Uh, my brother made, my brother made some burgers, and uh, everyone brought sides and, and and you know appetizers and whatnot. So just snacked, you know, talked trash and. Tell stories, like I said, it was just uh, it was a good time. Plus, got to see both my sister in laws, which I don't get to see very often, but that's nice when we do. Uh, I was kind of hoping to see the kids, but they didn't they didn't want to come. So, um, which I can't can't be too upset. Ours were working, so ours weren't there either. Um, but uh, you know, again, I, I miss seeing my my niece and nephew. Again, even though they're super close, busy lives. Uh, and then yeah, we just got home, and I went straight to work, and I put all the orders in for the night, kind of give my brother a, a break. Um, going to find out he ended up falling asleep on the couch once we left. So 
it wouldn't matter anyway. But anyway, um, put in the orders, got that all done. Um, took a shower, finished. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I was looking for a, a, I was going to watch a show. Like I said the other day, I binge watched Reacher till about 1 a.m. And I was like going to start another show. But I actually decided, decided to go and kind of go to a movie marathon. And I was going to, I was thinking about doing Mission Impossible, but I just did a Mission Impossible marathon before the new Mission Impossible movie came out. And I was going to like, oh, maybe I'll do that again and then watch the new movie. Um, but then at the last minute, I decided to start James Bond. And so um, I started, I, I went and watched uh, Casino Royale. It's been a while since I've seen it. I uh, wonder the last James Bond movie came out, you know, one or two years ago. I did the Daniel Craig marathon leading to the new one. So it's been a couple of years and I own them all. So easy one to do. So we'll do it. We'll do a James Bond marathon and maybe we'll do like a Jason Bourne marathon. That's kind of the next one I'm kind of thinking about going back to. And that's it. It's 9.30. Kids just got home. Well, Sierra just got home from work. Bryce has been home for a little bit, but he came home, ate, showered, and he's been upstairs since. So he came downstairs to grab his laundry. Sierra's home. So like I just caught up with both of them and uh, asked them how their work was and whatnot. And they both got paid today, so they're all stoked about their paychecks. And, you know, just, again, super proud dad. I got two awesome kids turned into two awesome young adults. Um, Bryce just made his first car payment. He's had his, he's had his uh, car now officially for one month. So he's made his first car payment and uh, he's threw down a chunk of change. Like he's going to pay it off pretty quick. You know, he saved up a lot of money and because of the situation, because we had to like, you know, take a loan out on the car, they wouldn't let us like, they wouldn't let us put the full down payment we wanted to put down. We had to put like a partial payment. So we did that. But he still has all his, his, his savings and the money that we, we're going to give him. And so he's just going to throw a big fat stack down on it and uh, we'll, he'll have it paid off by the end of the year easily. So pretty happy about that. Other than that, man, that's that's Sunday. That's my weekend. I feel like the weekends fly by super, uh, super fast. But it seems like everyone's loving today's vlog. Uh, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I really enjoyed taking Bryce out hiking. I told him hiking is like my new favorite thing. And we have this like maybe like a two month window before it's gonna get way too hot to enjoy it. So I plan on going hiking any, any free time that I have and trying to bang out all those, those new trails I just discovered. So I uh, hope you like the, the, the hiking videos cause you're gonna get a lot more of them in the next like two months or so. And then after that, once the summertime hits and it starts hitting like triple digits down here in Phoenix, um, I am definitely going to plan some trips up north. You know, we got Flagstaff, Prescott, Cottonwood, uh, Payson, um, I mean, hell, there's even some trails around like Sedona, which Sedona is still pretty hot though at that time of year, but there's Oak Creek Canyon, there's tons and tons of trails up north. So it's just a matter of planning accordingly, um, you know, either getting up there, stay the night one night and then go do, go do the hikes through the day or, you know, get up, get up there super early hike and then come back home. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow.